All right, welcome. Today we are going to talk about Pro Tools 101. Uh, I've had some people who are just getting into Pro Tools and they look at the Pro Tools interface and I see all these buttons and they are understandably overwhelmed. Pro Tools does everything. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get people started, get you to where you can get a signal into your Pro Tools system. And then from there, um, you know, the, the world kind of opens up for you. It can be a little frustrating at first. So we're going to go through that. Pro Tools 101, how do I get a basic signal into my Pro Tools system? Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up Pro Tools. So we're going to click on that and uh, and open it up. And what I usually what I always tell people is don't be afraid to click on stuff. There's all kinds of stuff in Pro Tools. You're not going to blow up your computer. You're not going to catch your studio on fire. The worst thing you can do is crash the Pro Tools program and then you just go in and you just, just start it over. And uh, Pro Tools has some safeguards um, that we might get to in another another video. Pro Tools has some safeguards um, automatic save features so you won't lose everything. So the worst you'll do is crash Pro Tools. Um, and the best you'll do is you'll learn how to use Pro Tools. You'll learn, you know, what all of these options are. So what you're going to see when you open up your Pro Tools program is you're going to see this basic screen. You're going to go to File and we're going to start a new session. Or you can open an existing session or you can open up a session that you recently used. But we're going to start a new session since we're just getting started in Pro Tools here and the first decision that you're going to need to make is you're going to need to decide where you're going to put your your um, your, your Pro Tools session, your files. So what I've got here is I've got um, two physically separate hard drives, two different hard drives, not partitions, two separate hard drives. On one it's called the system hard drive where I keep all my programs including the Pro Tools programs and various plugins and all the things that I use here in the studio. The next thing, the next that I have is I've got a recording drive, a separate recording drive. Uh, and that's where I put all of my Pro Tools session. Nothing goes on this drive except for projects. I've got the Tremor project here. I've got a couple of client files in here. Um, I've got some, some beats and some loops and stuff that I have that I use here in the studio. And I've got my own folder. So we're going to go here into my folder. This is an instruction video that I'm doing. So we're going to go into the instruction video master folder. I'm going to create a new folder here, right up here at the top. And I'm going to call this... Pro Tools 101. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to call the folder Pro Tools 101. And I'm also going to call the session Pro Tools 101. So I'm going to open this folder. I'm going to call this Pro Tools 101. There's only one file type you can save this as, and that's a Pro Tools file, .ptf. You've got two different choices for audio file types, sometimes three. Um, if you got a, a special Pro Tools plugin, you can also record an MP3. Maybe I'll discuss that at some point here. But I don't like to use MP3s when I'm, well, we'll discuss it now. I don't like to use MP3s um, when I'm working with audio because MP3, it sounds great to the human ear, but it's a degraded file source. And I like to use the best coming in that I can possibly have. You get great stuff coming in, you get great stuff coming out. If everything else is great as well, the performance and so forth. So you could choose between WAV and AIFF. AIFF is the Apple audio file source. It doesn't matter which one of these you use. Whether you're on a PC or a Mac, no matter where you're sending it, um, you can use either WAV or AIFF. WAV is tending to be the standard bearer for audio in the recording world. So we're going to use a WAV file here. 
You have different sample rates you can choose from. Um, this is a Pro Tools LE system and the Digio 3 that I'm using has a maximum sample rate of 96 kilohertz. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and we're going to record this at 44.1, which is CD quality audio. CD quality is at 16-bit depth rate and a 44.1 kilohertz sample rate. We're going to record this at 24-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. And for file settings, we are just going to use the last used. And that's all I've ever used in my entire career. Um, so we're ready here. We've got our Pro Tools file name. And we're going to go ahead and save that. What you're going to see come up here, this is the edit window. In Pro Tools, you've got two different windows. You've got an edit window. And you've got a mix window, which since we don't have any tracks in here yet, the mix window is, um, is empty. So we're going to go here to our edit window. And the first thing you need is some tracks to record on. 